A developing story tonight, a horrific shooting in a Sacramento area church where a father tonight killed his three children and a chaperone during a supervised visit before turning the gun on himself. Domestic violence is, is all too common. Um, this obviously rising to the level of, of killing um, innocent children um, is, is obviously beyond anyone's rational comprehension. Those three young victims, sisters, ages 9, 10, and 13. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes. And I'm Alex Savage. This happened around 5 o'clock tonight at a church called The Church in the Arden Arcade neighborhood of Sacramento County. That's where we find KTV's Alyssa Harrington live tonight with the latest on this developing story. Alyssa? And as you just heard, the victims, three young girls, their 39-year-old father, the suspect, and law enforcement says at this time they don't know the motive for this devastating crime. Now, I want to show you what's happening here at the scene. We are on wide away, and as you can see, there's very large police presence still here. The church is uh, down the street, almost at the end of the street where those flashing lights are. Police or people who live here say that they could clearly hear the gunshots. This church is in a residential neighborhood. And those who live nearby say they are devastated by what happened. I, I said, shot, shot. And then I saw the people across there running. They're going, shooting at the church, shooting at the church. Sandy Davis lives on Wide Away in Sacramento's Arden Arcade neighborhood, across the street from a church where five people were killed in what law enforcement believes was a murder-suicide. This happened just after 5 o'clock. Davis heard the gunfire while taking her dogs on a walk. And I opened the door and I heard five to six shots and I immediately opened the door, let the dog go back in and I hit, I crouched to the ground. I Sheriff's deputies say the shooter was a man who shot his three children inside the church during what was supposed to be a supervised visit. He also killed the chaperone, then turned the gun on himself. The mother of the kids had a restraining order against the father. It's just horrific, and unfortunately it does happen, and it does happen in the county. Domestic violence is, is all too common. Um, this obviously rising to the level of, of killing um, innocent children um, is, is obviously beyond anyone's rational comprehension. The children were all under the age of 15. The shooting happened in the main sanctuary. Apparently a, a, a church or a worker upstairs in this building, they heard a shot and then more shots. They left that building, uh, called us. Investigators say they are unsure of the family's relationship to the church or how many others were inside at the time. Several agencies were initially called to the scene, including SWAT and the FBI. The children's mother is okay, and earlier this evening, she was on her way to meet with investigators. At this time, no names have been released, but we know the family did live here in Sacramento. Reporting live, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Alyssa, is it clear at this point why the mother of those children had that restraining order against the gunman? Uh, that's one thing that law enforcement said that they are going to look into. They're going to look into why she took out this restraining order and how long that restraining order had been in place. All right, Alyssa Harrington live at the scene of this horrific shooting tonight in Sacramento County. Alyssa, thank you. The governor tweeted in response to tonight's shooting and said this, another senseless act of gun violence in America, this time in our backyard, in a church with kids inside. Absolutely devastating. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and their communities. We are working closely with local law enforcement.